and week to week, Darren, uh, it gives us facts about money. But, you know, if you're wearing a hearing aid and you have your hear your radio to so loud that the whole family is listening, uh, you might want to invest in having a hearing test. And invest is just a matter of investing in time and being with the right person. And uh, that person, in my opinion, is Edmund Ivazian of the Hearing Aid Source Centres of Toronto. So good morning, Edmund. Good morning. So today I wanted to discuss some facts about hearing aids. And so we've kind of calculated and more or less roughly generated some numbers for the Greater Toronto Area. So there are about 400,000 people in the Greater Toronto Area that have a hearing loss. Uh, of those people, about 80,000 of them actually currently wear or have purchased hearing aids. Now, of those people, about 40,000 of them are actually unsatisfied with their hearing aids. That's a huge number. Yes, it is a huge number. And you know what? People don't know what they don't know. Uh, I know someone yesterday who had hearing aids in her ear, and when she took them out to get her hair washed at the hairdresser, part of her hearing aid stayed in her ear. Oh, no. Poking at it. I told her she should go back and get it taken out professionally. What would you have told her? I would tell her the same thing. Right. Don't fiddle with your ears. No, no. It's better not to poke around in there because then you'll push the, the part in deeper. Exactly. So you don't know what you don't know. If you can't hear this and your radio is up loud, loud, there is an alternative. It's called a hearing aid and That's a hearing right. test. Now, to continue with our story, uh, so the most common complaint about a hearing aid is how you hear in background noise, which is pretty much everybody. And I mean, that's normal, normal uh, hearing people as well. Uh, so to address this particular issue, we at the Hearing Aid Source have developed our advanced hearing test. Now, one aspect of our new hearing test is what we call our SYN gap test. Uh, so with this new test, what it does is it actually measures your physical ability to hear in noise without your hearing aids. And when you get your hearing aids, we can actually measure what your physical ability is after you get your hearing aids. So with the hearing aids in your ears, we can actually measure your new ability to functionally hear in background noise. Now, some people are so bad that they can't actually functionally hear, so we need to add some uh, extra equipment, so like uh, a remote microphone. But we talk about all of those things, and we actually measure your ability and what your outcome is actually going to be. So basically you're saying that it isn't just a hearing aid, somebody might have enhanced hearing in a different way depending on the situation. That's right. And you educate everything around hearing so someone has the hearing that they need, let's say for the family wedding when they're giving a speech or when they're traveling and they have lots of background noise, they don't just have to pop their hearing aids in their pocket because there's too much. So that's, that's the whole point of, of, of what we do is we actually measure uh, and physically tune the actual device specific to you. So when you do this, it's an enhanced hearing test. Is there an enhanced fee? No, there's no enhanced fee. So we still do the, the entire test free, complimentary. Uh, it just does take a little bit extra time. Um, most tests are, are you're in and out of a, a sound booth in about 15, 20 minutes at most. Ours takes about 40 minutes. And it's always with you or with the... So it's, it's one of our team. So one of our, our hearing instrument specialists is going to be performing the actual test. Now, you have a hearing test, about 40 minutes. Let's say that you determine that I need a hearing aid. Um, do I leave and come back? What's the process of like getting my hearing tweaked and right? So typically what we do is we actually custom order the device for you. So whether there's actually custom fit parts, uh, like an ear mold, or there's some custom tuning, but generally speaking, what we do is for each individual, we actually order a very unique set up for them and in terms of test driving like i've never worn a hearing aid i have my hearing tested and thankfully i don't need them that's yet. right but when i do um do you just order it arbitrarily or would you so give me a test we drive? we actually have demo hearing aids in the office now they are typically behind the ear models uh with the receiver inside your ear uh usually we use a uh like a universal fit dome uh, which is kind of tailored to your ear, the shape and size, uh, and the power levels that you need. But generally, you can use a behind-the-ear model for a test drive. You can try it out for about a week in your own time, in your own place, 
and then come back and see how uh, how you want to proceed. Now, Hearing Aid Source Centres of Toronto has been inviting people in even if they are wearing hearing aids. But it's like saying, you know, I bought the wedding dress already. Why would I go back to someone who tests hearing? What's your answer to that? So everybody sets up hearing aids very differently. I mean, you can take one single hearing device and have 10 different ways of setting this thing up. Uh, what we do is we basically take a fair bit of time kind of listening to what your specific needs are, what your specific issues are, and then kind of look at the actual instrument based on what your needs are and what your physical capabilities are, and then kind of address um, the, the fitting issues, uh, whether they're sound tuning related or they're actually physical fit related issues, or sometimes both. And we actually look and, and address each one of those issues kind of one step at a time, usually in, in about a, a 45 minutes to an hour session most of those issues we can kind of iron out. And are you dealing with one particular brand or how, how does it work? Because I know that there are many brands of hearing aids and some brands sell just their brands and it may not be the brand for me. So the way we do this uh, with the selection of hearing aids um, is basically we actually are, are listening to each hearing aid before we sell a hearing aid. So like for example, uh, a new hearing aid comes out uh, from X manufacturer, whatever it might be. We actually order a set for ourselves to actually demonstrate to ourselves that this, the claims that the manufacturer is, is claiming is actually true. And the other thing is we actually will listen critically and say, okay, well, does this device actually sound good to us? And if it does, great, it's on our list that we sell. We actually then do a review, and we put that uh, that review online on our inter uh, on our website, and, <clears throat> and people can actually go and read the review, and they can actually write their own review of that device on our website. So hearingaidsource.ca is that the website? Hearingaidsource.ca. So if you're interested in vetting a hearing aid brand and understanding it. It will be on this website, or if you have a hearing aid and you haven't had a good experience or you've had a wonderful experience, share it with people so that they know and share it with Hearing Aid Source by logging on to hearingaidsource.ca. Now, we've talked about the fact that when someone brings you a hearing aid and they've bought it elsewhere and they don't have a guarantee, you want to make it work. Let's say that you make it work because you invite people to do it, and I've heard many happy stories mm. to say that that happens. Let's talk about the guarantees for that work and also when you sell a hearing aid. So anytime a person who brings in a hearing aid from elsewhere, wherever it might be, uh, what we do is our, we do our best to make sure that it's number one working. Most times, because they haven't used it, it looks brand new. Um, it might be a year old, it might be two year olds, it might be five years old. But typically what we do is we spend the time and, uh, and address the issues, solve the issues if we can, and if we can't, then we'd look at a new solution. Now, if you come in with your hearing aid from somewhere else, what we do is if we can still use that device, we give you our best value, sorry, best price service plan. What that includes is your regular cleanings and checkups every six months, so kind of like your dentist. Uh, and you also get two free adjustments for the life of that hearing aid. So that's free. That's a $50 value per hearing aid that we just give you for free. And there's no obligation. Someone can have hearing aids in their drawer for five years, hear you today, and say, hey, maybe they, I can make them work. If they're not going to work, that's fine. And if they're going to work, you're going to make them work. Absolutely. And in terms of new hearing aids... So in terms of, of new hearing aids, we give everybody an option. So we give options with regards to the make, model, style of the hearing aid, whichever category of technology that they prefer. We always kind of address uh, their, their hearing issues alongside with uh, budget restrictions and everything else. But at the same time, we give options with regards to the level of service that they prefer. So we have three different service plans. So we have our best uh, fit service plan, which is basically our all-inclusive service plan. So it includes your, your cleanings, adjustments, uh, your batteries, your wax guards, anything and everything is on in all-inclusive. Well, then we have our best value service plan, which is our most common, uh, commonly sold uh, service plan, which basically is mostly like our all-inclusive plan. You get your batteries instead of free, you get them for half price. 
so we, it also gives you the cleaning and checkups and service and adjustments and everything else that is involved in maintaining, maintaining the actual device. And then we have our best price service plan, which is the one we just discussed, which gives you two free uh, cleanings per year and also two free adjustments for the life of the device. So basically it starts off with either the hearing test or bring me your hearing aids so I can make them work and maybe a hearing test is part of that. Yeah. And then you go forward from there and there's always a guarantee so you aren't going into your pocket every time you walk into hearing aid sources. Yeah, we, we, we don't like the feeling of, of constantly asking people for money. We okay. don't like that. Well, and nobody likes to keep going into their pocket when they feel they've invested in something. They'd like it to be mm -hmm. maintenance free if it's possible. And how often should someone come to get the hearing test done? Uh, hearing tests, uh, my recommendation is at least once every other year. And what about for children? A lot of us are having grandchildren now. What's part of their physical? So anytime that a, a child is born, at least in, in the Ontario region, uh, I know that there's the infant screening program. So what they do is they basically, uh, almost within a couple of days of the child being born, the child is tested uh, for any type of hearing anomalies. Uh, and if there is a, a even a question of a hearing anomaly, uh, then they go and do any more advanced testing. So uh, auditory brainstem responses, uh, autoacoustic emission testing. These are specialized tests that are, are usually done by audiologists in hospitals. So like sick kids, for example, is a specialty uh, place that people go for infants and, and children. The reason I brought it up is because you gave me a card and you're supporting Sick Children's Hospital. That's right. And so it is about <coughs> supporting hearing for people of all ages. Hearing Aid Source Centers, Edmund Ivazian, basically wants you to not miss the sounds in your life. And it's not for lack of just sitting back. It is, it, most people are carrying around hearing aids, or like this lady with her hearing aids, they've been misfit. Don't give up just because you have a bad experience. Go the next step, visit Hearing Aid Source Centers, give them a chance to see if maybe what you had as a bad experience can be turned around to a positive experience. Now, locations? I've got two locations. The first one is at uh, Parkway Mall, which is at, located at Victoria Park and Ellesmere. Uh, the phone number there is 416-754-4327. And the second location is at 699 Coxwell Avenue, which is located just north of Danforth. And the phone number there is 416-463-4327. And uh, I went to the... You went to Coxwell. the Danforth, the, Danforth. Uh, the Coxwell store. And it's just one step up. So even though I always say go to Parkway Mall because it's fully accessible... Mm -hmm. The other is accessible unless you're in a scooter. Really. Well, wheelchairs are a little bit of a, an issue uh, because there's a couple of steps, but most well, people in, in walkers and, and uh, canes and stuff like that easily get into the building. And your hours? Uh, hours at our Parkway Mall location are 10 o'clock till 6, uh, Monday to Friday. Saturdays are by appointment only, uh, where we're there from 10 till 2. And the phone number? Phone number there is 416-754-4327. So if you have any questions about your hearing, a hearing test takes 40 minutes. Hearing for the rest of your life, as you should be hearing, clearly and crispy, crisply as possible, all you have to do is ask the right person. You don't know what you don't know. If Darren's listening, he'll, well, he'll know we're quoting him. And Hearing Aid Source Centers is a family business. You'll get personal service and you'll deal with people who care. They'll answer your questions and Edmund's available. The number again, 416-754-4327. Thank you for spending extra time with us today. My pleasure. Edmund. I have a package in my car, so you can hang out to the end of the show. Sure, I'll try. Okay, thank you. So we'll take a short break. When we come back, I'll do the weather, um, and we'll speak with Jill of Retire at Home and learn about the benefits of customized home care. I'm Marilyn Weston, and you're getting it straight from a woman's perspective right here on Zoomer Radio.